you know, we are pretty good at killing fellow man, but we also like to see if we can be more efficient at it. Science has given us a huge plethora of gifts which includes not only elements of comfort and luxury, but also a number of life-saving inventions, that have taken us out of the stone-cold cave-dwelling life. But man did not miss his chances of twisting this same science to create things that threatens our very existence. Be it weapons of mass destruction or things that have done more harm than good, these inventions will always find themselves blacklisted in the history of science and technology. Here are five of the deadliest inventions of human history. The Guillotine the name guillotine dates to the 1790s and the French Revolution. The origins of the French guillotine date back to late 1789, when Dr. Joseph Ignace Guillotine proposed that the French government adopt a gentler method of execution. During the reign of terror of the mid-1790s, thousands of enemies of the French Revolution met their end by the guillotine's blade. Some members of the public initially complained that the machine was too quick and clinical, but before long the process had devolved into high entertainment. The guillotine is most famously associated with revolutionary France, but it may have claimed just as many lives in Germany during the Third Reich. Adolf Hitler made the guillotine a state method of execution in the 1930s. The guillotine remained France's state method of capital punishment well into the late 20th century. Convicted murderer Hamida Jandaubai became the last person to meet his end by the National Razor after he was executed by the guillotine in 1977. Agent Orange Agent Orange was a powerful herbicide used by U.S. military forces during the Vietnam War to eliminate forest cover and crops for North Vietnamese and Viet Cong troops. The U.S. program, codenamed Operation Ranch Hand, sprayed more than 20 million gallons of various herbicides over Vietnam, Cambodia and Laos from 1961 to 1971. More than 13 million gallons of Agent Orange was used in Vietnam, or almost two-thirds of the total amount of herbicides used during the entire Vietnam War. Questions regarding Agent Orange arose in the United States after an increasing number of returning Vietnam veterans and their families began to report a range of afflictions, including rashes and other skin irritations, miscarriages, psychological symptoms, type 2 diabetes, birth defects in children and cancers such as Hodgkin's disease, prostate cancer and leukemia. TNT TNT, trinitrotoluene is one of the most commonly used explosives for military, industrial, and mining applications. It was developed in 1863 as a harmless yellow dye by German chemist, Joseph Wilbrand. He had no idea that he created a weapon that would change the face of the world. In 1902, it was discovered that TNT could also be used as a destructive explosive if used in a certain way. The Germans recognized the potential of TNT when it began filling its artillery shells with it. These shells could pierce the armor of its enemies, especially the armor of the ships. During World War I and World War II, both sides used TNT as a weapon against their enemies, creating massive amounts of destruction and loss of life. Because of its effective and powerful nature, TNT still finds use in the military and construction companies. Zyklon B. Zyklon B are pellets that vaporize when exposed to air. Originally intended for commercial use as a disinfectant and an insecticide, the Nazis discovered through experimentation the gas could be used to kill humans. The brand of Zyklon B used by the Nazis contained substances which gave the pellets a blue appearance and left blue stains inside gas chambers which can still be seen today in chambers that were left intact. During the killing process, prisoners at Auschwitz and other killing centers were forced into the airtight chambers that had been disguised by the Nazis to look like shower rooms. The Zyklon pellets were then dumped into the chambers via special air shafts or openings in the ceiling. The pellets would then vaporize, giving off a noticeable bitter almond odor. Upon being breathed in, the vapors combined with red blood cells, depriving the human body of vital oxygen causing unconsciousness, 
and then death through oxygen starvation. Atomic Bomb During World War II, USA initiated a secret operation codenamed Project Manhattan. This project made a product that proved to be the most lethal weapon in the history of mankind. Scientists at Los Alamos had developed two distinct types of atomic bombs by 1945, a uranium-based design called the Little Boy and a plutonium-based weapon called the Fat Man. USA attacked Hiroshima and Nagasaki with nukes when Japan refused to surrender. Over the next few decades, each world superpower stockpiled tens of thousands of nuclear warheads. The United States and Soviet Union took the lead in negotiating an international agreement to halt the further spread of nuclear weapons in 1968. The Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons, also called the Non-Proliferation Treaty or NPT, went into effect in 1970. It separated the world's countries into two groups, nuclear weapon states and non-nuclear weapon states. 